always great having you with us here on Sideliners. Now, joining us on the show is the only person who gives Andrew Bogut a harder time than LeBron James, and she's returning to once again, hopefully, conquer the WNBL. Please welcome Liz Cambage. <laughs> Refreshed, you look sensational. You haven't actually played a competitive game of basketball since the Rio Olympic Games. No, my last game was that uh, wonderful game against Serbia. <laughs> and then I ran away from the village and I haven't touched a basketball since. But no, I've been training. I have been training. I have been. <laughs> but you were thinking of giving it away for a little while there. Yeah, I was pretty much ready to hang up the shoes and call it done skis with uh, basketball. I, mean, I was a bit done with it all, but it's uh, Rio made me hungrier. That's, that's crazy to me because mm. you are so you're so young. You're t you're 25. Yes. I I mean, was that a was that mental fatigue? Was that physical fatigue? Mm. I think um, a lot of people don't realise I've been a professional basketballer since I was 15 years old. Oh. So um, after a decade of being a pro bowler, I think I, I deserved a break. Yeah. So yeah. it's been nice to just get back and do some travelling and just refresh and work on other projects. Okay, so you've just come back from China and you've signed with the Boomers. How exciting. Yeah, so yeah. the last season I played uh, a year ago, a year and a half ago, I was in Shanghai. So I haven't played a season of basketball for a year and a half and I haven't been on court for a year since the, uh, the Olympics. So coming back home to Melbourne Boomers is the best place for me to be home and training and, and playing there. So we've got the flagship of the, of the Opals and mm -hmm. they do sensationally well at the Olympic Games. What's the state of uh, WNBL here in Australia? What's the state of the game here? Because we often hear about you guys going off to other places mm. to play. What's yeah. it like here in terms of the level and, and how the league's going? With what we have in all the other sports here in Australia, it is, it's so hard to get sponsorship. Like, we are so blessed to live in such a great sporting country, but we're also, we're, as, a, as a women's league and as a women's sport, like, we fight for sponsorship and, and money, but we haven't even been on TV for the past three years, so... We're very lucky to be back on TV, on, uh, on Fox, mm -hmm. so that's really great. And, um, I'm saying that. <laughs> well, ABC... It's great you're back on TV, though. <laughs> the ABC did drop us. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we would like to apologise for that. <laughs> but, no, like, the, the year, there was years and years with the ABC and... You know how to make friends. <laughs> You know what, Liz? <laughs> if the basketball is not working out for you, I would personally like to oh. invite you down to Collingwood if you'd like to join oh. the women's oh. AFL. Oh. Oh. And let me try you yeah. out. Or you could invite her to a team that, you know, wins some yeah. games. Yeah. Seriously, though, Erin Phillips made an amazing transition yes. to playing AFLW and with mm -hmm. the Adelaide Crows. Superb. But what was the talk amongst your basketball fraternity about that and whether we're going to see more of that? Yeah. Well, Erin, um, she's... There you go. Amazing basketballer. She's been a trailblazer um, in the WNBA. And she bossed this. She was, she was born to play AFL. Her whole life, her, the whole time I've known her, she's annoyed me trying to get me to come pick the football with her. <laughs> We'd be like out in Italy on some somewhere in Europe on an Opals trip and she'll always have a football with her. Because yeah. you are very close friends, are you? Yeah. As we saw mm -hmm. on Instagram earlier on this week. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's oh, two of them. Very glamorous. Oh, so yes. beautiful. My Instagram filters do not make me look that cute. Uh, <laughs> I would like to know what's going yeah. on. Um, no, it's so crazy that Erin's a mum now and, you know, getting to her her life in AFL and still working with the basketball. But um, it, it's so amazing to see all this support that got behind her. And it was like all of a sudden Erin's this amazing athlete. She's been amazing her whole career. Oh, yeah. She's a yeah. silver medalist, um, you know, dual Olympian, mm -hmm. um, WNBA champion. Um, she's, a, she's amazing. It's kind of... It is frustrating as an athlete, yeah. as a basketballer, but as a woman, it, the, the w, w, women's AFL has been so empowering. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know... As other women's sports have been here as, as well for so long... And it, it, all of a sudden, it was like, yeah, women's sport. It's yeah. like, yo, we've been here a long time. <laughs> like, we've been speaking, here speaking, doing it. Speaking, speaking of friends. Yeah. Speaking of friends. Friends. Um, <laughs> Andrew Bogart, you had a bit of a, an exchange with oh, him. I thought we were speaking of friends. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know... What, what's at the hardest? Did you feel that sometimes that uh, people, when you like to speak your mind, you've mm -hmm. always done that and mm -hmm. you've stood your ground, yes. that someone's trying to tell you to, to as that they say, pull your head in, that you were going to mm. say, nah, no way, I'm going to say um, what I mean? I don't really think anyone was telling me to pull my head in. It all started when I walked in a Black Lives Matter rally last year and Andrew tweeted that walking uh, for that is... He, um, I think he, he mentioned something. It was the same as walking against um, 
like planes, on yeah. highways, trying to say that we don't have a racial um, police brutality issue here in mm. Australia, which is a load of BS. But um, as he, it's kind of it's kind of sad. I look up to Andrew. He's such a great post player. But when a man is tweeting at you how to live your life, um, people you sleep with. Um, and things I do in my day to day, it just, it's, it's so disrespectful yes. and I just have no respect for that man. Oh, so, it's yeah, it's quite yeah. sad. He's an amazing basketballer, but just stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all love you here and we're so excited about you being back in Australia to Thank play you. for the Melbourne Boomers, which starts in October. Yes, so, it's right around the corner. I'll get you all tickets to the game. Yeah. 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 Would you please thank Liz Cambage? Thank you for joining us. Thank you.